Hey, welcome back to another video that you guys, the community, requested for me to do, which is my A plus or perfect entry checklist, right? So first, I'm gonna show you what's in the checklist, then I'm gonna organize it by importance or what what's required at the checklist. So first, main thing is low resistance liquidity runs. That's one thing. Low resistance liquidity runs break of structures on a lower time frame, higher time frame confirmation or confluences, and an SMT that can be con included also. Anything, it's really those three and that's really it. But higher time frame confluences can be like an accumulation, manipulation, distribution pattern on higher time frames, SMT, but it's really just by itself if we're not using any of that, it's just lower resistance liquidity runs a break of structure on a lower time frame and then higher time frame confluences, right? So here today on this day, right, which is Tuesday, 28th of May, I'm going to show you that this setup did exactly happen, right? So first, I'm going to mark up the lower time frame so you can see it, right? So including AMD, it's not a part of, it's not a part of the, the model or the checklist that I use but it gives you a little bit extra confirmation so you can really see what price is doing so as you see here right i know this is just not actually price accumulated right in this range it accumulated manipulated right now like i said we want to look for some lower resistance liquidity runs and if you guys know about amd or accumulation manipulation and distribution the manipulation phase can be a form of a liquidity purge. So manipulation could be a form of retracing to equilibrium, hitting a fair value gap, or purging liquidity. And what did it do? It came to these liquidity points right here. That's what I wanted to come see a takeout, right here. So liquidity purge, if I drag this out, it came out and took that out, right? So we accumulated, manipulated, came and took out lower resistance liquidity, and expanded right now your entry would be the break of structure correct so your confluences to take the entry would be low resistance liquidity and low resistance liquidity and higher time frame confluences those are your only things that you need that keyword need but you can use other things such as amd to confirm it even more to see what price to see why is price doing certain things so why did price come down to this liquidity point? Because it was accumulating and manipulated. That's exactly what it did. And if I draw again from here to here, well, let's adjust this a little bit more. Price expand. So accumulated, manipulated, and the expansion came, right? So now, if you guys probably already noticed already, you guys probably already noticed, but the break of structure would be right here at this most recent high. So, only took one trade, right? Because here, if you look at this, this expansion area, I wasn't awake at this time. I wasn't awake. And I only trade when the market opens, which is 8.30. That's the New York session open, right? So, price, I took two trades, actually, right? Two trades. Price came up, broke structure right here, right? Because this, this is how we enter. It broke structure right here at this swing high right there right it came to the swing high right now around 8 30 price came into this fair value gap it came into this fair value gap once i saw it come into this fair value gap again or right here it came into it i took a buy right off of this and i set my stop at the bottom of the second candle that creates the fair value gap and I set my target right here. Oh, it's already there, but right there, liquidity. And that was a one, one hour trade, but still a pretty good trade. So just from this fair I got up, and that's like a second trade. When price came deeper into equilibrium, and that's also another thing you can use for this model. I might create, I might make this a model or create it a model. I had a name for it earlier, but I may put your votes in the comments or in the Discord. I most likely will do it in the Discord. So. You guys see that discord link in my bio on the youtube channel 
go to it because that's the best way you can contact me and learn more because I do a lot of stuff there like weekly reviews I let you guys pick what type of concepts you want and you a matter of fact you can suggest videos that you want me to make if you're having trouble with a certain thing you can suggest a video inside of my discord and then whenever I have the chance I'll record it and post it for you but as you see here price came deeper to equilibrium right let's delete this for right got to make you see better it came to equilibrium purging this liquidity point and coming to this fair value gap I took another buy off the retracement to this fair value gap and it didn't reach my take profit which was up here so I just took my profit at the last failure swing which was around 11 12 whenever on gold specifically I close my trades before 11 that's what I personally get out I get out around like 11 12 but if the market's still moving around like 11, 11, 15, I'll hold the trade until like 12 o'clock. Now, as you see, if I bring this down, we see that price like literally started retracing around 12 o'clock and started accumulating. So whenever I have a trade in and it's not reaching my take profit before 11 or 12 o'clock, I just close the trade and take my profit. Because if we still look, it was a three hour trade, which is, is it good? Yes, it is good. Because you did what? You made profit, you made money. So that is my entry checklist. As a matter of fact, we didn't even use any higher time frame confluences because it is needed. It is very much needed to have higher time frame confluences because if you actually I take that back, I might just back test this and see if you really need higher time frame confluences. And in the comments or description, I'll give you an update in it if higher time frame confluences are really required. Because as I said here, all you need keyword in E E D. All you need is a low resistance liquidity run and a break of structure. That is all you need, including higher time frame confluences. But I'll see if higher time frame confluences really are needed. Now let's confirm this even more with higher time frame confluences, shall we? So let's go straight to the daily. Why not? Let's go straight to the daily. Okay. So you see. I already know prices in an uptrend breaking highs is just continued just displacing higher right so there's not really much data here so let's drop down to the four hour and look so down here in this area I knew price was gonna come to these highs this low resistance liquidity and immediately drop right and it did it did just that because we had all-time high it came to all-time highs and then dropped now I want to see price continue dropping right and if you look here Here's, here's a tip. If you see price on a higher time frame, or really any time frame, like if it's retracing very like choppy wise and not creating any gaps or like displacing in that direction, then it's most likely gonna go the opposite way. That's just an extra confluence to add. It's just basically price movement. So if you see how price is like really choppy, not creating any, not too many fair value guys. There is this one here, but he immediately came back and rebalanced it. That's another confluence to say that, okay, it's retracing to go down, but it's not going. It's going to go up to retrace in order to go down. So it's just going up to hit back down again. So I want to see price come and take out this high here in the future. But I use the the retracement theory I just put out there to make that trade on a lower time frame. So there is this breaker structure here. And I did want to see price retrace back up to some sort of equilibrium or manipulate before heading down. So the true trend is down, but the short term trend is a bullish retracement. And it's doing it very, very slowly, very in a choppy motion. So we want to see not too many buys, but keep eye on the higher time frames to know when price is going to eventually sell off. Because we're looking for sales, but for right now, we're really looking for buys because it's in a retracement. So the overall trend is bearish, but the retracement is bullish, right? So that's really just my whole checklist. I'm not gonna lie. I'll put the, the stuff in the description of what I use. I'm gonna say it again. It's simply low resistance liquidity runs, break of structures, and higher time frame confluences. That is all I use. And like I said, if you see anything else, like AMD and SMT, you can add that onto there. You, you can add it for more for more the bigger picture basically a bigger picture to see why price is going in a certain direction or it basically just 
follows the model basically it basically just goes with the model and it flows with the model right but i'm gonna be in this video here i don't want to take up your time i know you got stuff you gotta handle i'm out see y'all